In this part, we will try to understand the relay interfacing to the 8051 microcontroller or in general any microcontroller. So, the microcontroller is to be connected to the relay to operate that relay. So, first of all, we will understand what is a relay. So, a relay is an electromechanical device. Relay is an electro mechanical device device that can be used to switch on off switch on or off the power circuits using microcontroller or under the control of microcontroller. So, in general it is used to switch off, switch on and off power circuits. Now, so the electrical part in a, in an in a relay is a coil. So, there is a coil in a relay, in a relay there is a coil. So, the coil you can draw it like you can draw a coil, this is how the coil will look like this is a coil and inside the coil there is a core V, there is a core, this is a core and uh, whenever we send some current through this I, it will create a magnetic field and this will become an electromagnet, this will become an electromagnet. So, if we connect the, the I am showing the iron core or core with these two lines. So, coil iron core and uh, when the coil is energized, uh, it becomes a magnet electromagnet and the magnet is used to attract the contacts to contacts. So, the contacts are shown it shown this way. So, we are showing the contacts this way. So, this is a contact. These are the contact terminals, these are the contact terminals. So, there will be typically three terminals which will work as switches. So, this is called as a common terminal, this is called as normally closed terminal and this is called as normally open terminal. So, when the relay is not energized, when the relay is not energized, it means the current is not passing through the coil, energized, not energized, then the normally closed and common will get connected, will be, be connected. And uh, if it is energized, if energized, it means the current is passed through the relay coil normally open and com common terminal will get connected will get connected and the N nc and normally closed and common will get open so when it is energized this is the condition i have shown the condition with no energized and if it is energized the connections will become like this the connections will become somewhat like this these are the contacts I am drawing. So, common, normally open, normally closed and uh, this is the condition if it is energized and this is the condition if not energized. So, mechanically you can uh, have on off switch, it is a kind of switch controlled through electric current. So, so, the overall this is the symbol, this is the symbol. Now, this becomes the symbol of the, this is the symbol of the, this is the symbol, symbol of relay, symbol of relay. So, how do we use this to interface to the microcontroller? So, we have the microcontroller we have an IO pin 
and we have a relay. So, relay I am drawing it like this. N C sorry common normally closed normally open and we have a pin. Now, this pin whatever the pin usually cannot source the current. It means the current sourcing capacity of typically 8051 micrometer is small. So, we have to actually use it in a active low fashion. So, we have to actually source sync the current. So, what we do is uh, we can uh, connect a PNP transistor here, PNP transistor and uh, connect a resistor for the base current limitation. This we connect to 5 volt and uh, this we connect to an NPN transistor and this is grounded and it is connected to this and this may be connected to either 5 volt or 12 volt depending on the relay uh, coil rating. So, this is how the connections are. So, if this this becomes 1, if this is 1, then uh, since this is also 5 volt, 1 means 5 volt, it will appear 5 volt. So, 5 volt, 5 volt, there won't, won't, won't be any current, the current will not be through base. So, if the base current is not there, collector current won't be there. So, the relay will be off, the relay will be off. And if we make this pin as 0, then there will be 0 volt, there will be current through this, there will be current through this and because of this current, there will be current through this and this will become on. So, it is possible to make the relay on and off by setting or clearing the uh, any pin. Whenever the transistor becomes off, because the if, if, if the relay is on previously, the current is flowing and when you make the transistor off, uh, sudden change in the current is causing this the voltage at collector to develop to a very high level and which, which may cause the problem to the transistor itself, the transistor may burn. So, to avoid this we connect a diode, we connect a diode like this. So, this is called as a freewheeling diode, freewheeling diode. So, this freewheeling diode will protect the, it will protect the transistor, transistor q 2, this is q 2, this is q 1. So, this is the circuit of connecting any port pin to a relay. Now, how do we control the port pin? By using set B or clear instruction. Suppose this in this port pin is P 1.0 for 8051, then we can use set B P 1.0, then the relay will be off and clear P 1.0, the relay will become on. So, this is how we can interface the uh, relay to the micromotor. So, what we understood is what is relay? Relay is an electromechanical device. We require such kind of devices when we work with a power circuit. For example, suppose if, if you have a microcontroller and you want to glow a bulb if you want to glow a bulb. So, if you want to glow a bulb, since the bulb is working on 230 volts or 110 volts higher voltage, you cannot directly make it on and off because it is a power circuit. So, for that we require mains power supply. So, we require the plug and then there will be two wires here 230 volt AC one of the wire will go to the terminal common termin terminal of the bulb. The other terminal of the bulb has to be connected to a switch and the th next terminal will go to the mains. So, this two terminals if shorted the bulb will be on, if it is open the bulb will be off. So, we will connect it this way. And there will be a coil. the relay will be connected. The control circuit is any way going to be there. So, if you write instruction C L R P 1.0, then this pin will become 0. If this pin becomes 0, the current will flow, this current will flow, the relay will be activated, this switch will go to this place and when it goes to this place, 
these two con contacts will be closed and the bulb will glow. And if you write set B P 1.0, the relay will be off and therefore, bulb also will be off. So, here relay will be on, bulb will be on. So, you can control power devices using microcontroller with appropriate instructions and appropriate circuit diagram.